Myland, the pharmaceutical company, cut the price of EpiPens from $600 to $300, but only for some people. Nine-year-old Priscilla Casper spoke with a TUSD nurse and health director about how Tucson schools are protecting your child. TUSD says it will do everything it can to protect their students from getting an allergic reaction. A district school nurse says they are even helping parents out that don't have money to get their child an EpiPen. A TUSD school nurse says every school in the district has a stock of EpiPens. However, she tells me she sees the increase in price affecting families. A lot more parents have called and asked if we have one on stock because they don't have one at home at this time. So we, they're kind of counting and relying on our EpiPen for their child. She asked the parents if their child carries an EpiPen, and they say no. They say normally they do, however it's expired, and they can't afford to purchase a, purchase a new one, so they are asking if we have one available, and yes, we do. Now, to show you how to use an EpiPen, this is a trainer. You take off the blue safety portion, you firmly grab the EpiPen, and you put it in your thigh, hold it for 3 to 10 seconds, then call 911. TUSD said that there were nine student cases last year. The district's health director says allergic reactions have been on the rise. The increase in actual anaphylactic allergic reaction is increasing. Um, every year it's increased. She says they are doing research to find out why this is becoming so popular. The nurse advises that parents should notify the health office if their child has a known allergy. From there, the nurse will notify the staff to take safety precautions. She says the school is in the process of training staff on how to administer an EpiPen. And well, if you're looking for an alternative to an EpiPen, Adrenaclick costs about $142. Guy Stella. Right, that's way cheaper.